Pakistan for Pashtuns. I'm going to tell the president to rid our country of all the dirty hazards. Just let us go. <laughs> They're not bothering you. Oh, you're the Kite Runner is based on Khalid Hosseini's renowned, popular book, The Kite Runner, which was written in early 2000 and set in Afghanistan. And then afterwards we go around 20 years later into the United States, so we see two different cultures and we see how one event in Afghanistan uh, uh, by a boy who was 12 years old, Amir, our protagonist, um, what happened when he was 12 years old, how it shapes uh, 20 years in the future. And it's the story of Afghanistan, but it's not the story that we hear in the media. And the media portrays Afghanistan often as a place that is, you know, harboring terrorists, has a you know, drug problem, and um, treats women badly, right? Uh, and so these two friends, young Amir and, and Hassan, one is the servant, one's the master, but they become friends. And, uh, and that is a dangerous thing in, in Afghan society in the 1970s. And so what this bully does is that he uses that to try to manipulate and uh, crush their friendship. He's not my friend. He's my servant. Well, you're the problem here, Amir. If idiots like you and your father didn't take these people in, we'd be rid of them by now. <laughs> when you are playing a bad guy, it's very difficult. One of the hardest things is to not judge yourself, to not judge the really bad things that you're doing. Um, so just basically get, getting rid of that sensor, getting rid of whatever my own personal blocks are to really go there and to be as wonderfully bad as I can. It took me a, a year of planning. We did a whole tour of the entire country, uh, went very close to the Syrian border, to Mardin, uh, to different places where I think we would get a, a kind of a sense of both Islamic culture as well as geography, the taste, the smells, the colors, the people. Maybe you didn't notice that I'm the one holding the slingshot. If you make a move, they'll have to change your nickname from Asif the Irritar to One-Eyed Asif. <laughs> you should know something about me, Beanie Pachak. I am a very patient person. This doesn't end today. And this doesn't end for you either, Amir. <laughs> it shows a personal story in the midst of uh, a big political event. I think when you watch this play, or if when you read the book, you start to learn a lot about this beautiful culture. And it really truly is a story of being a man, being a son, being a father, all the, you know, reconciling your past, all these things that irrespective of what your faith is, you go through it. So it's a very human story. I think it's absolutely universal, actually. Even though it's specifically set in Afghanistan and it's an Afghani story, it's an immigrant story. It's a story about fathers and sons. It's a story of betrayal and, and seeking out redemption. It's a story of, of best friends and overcoming huge obstacles. I was actually out in PEI directing a, another show, a book club there, the, they were all elderly women, almost uh, mobbed me when they found out that I was directing The Kite Runner. So I think it has great resonance, uh, not only here, but across Canada.